Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, March 20th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarifications. First, the price you see over here will be moving around and changing, and the candlestick you see will also be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time, but I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, HSTO, and a good solid pattern here has formed where you gotta think a lot of people are gonna be watching this pattern here headed into Monday, so I wanna be very clear, I'm not trying to imply that this is a great discovery on my part or that I have a special talent. You gotta think that a lot of other people have drawn this pattern. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same levels and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movement. So let me change this line here to green to represent more so the support part of the pattern. And then let's just get the whole pattern the same color, make it easier to see. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big explosion right there. And for you golfers out there, make it more visual, put the golf hole down there. We have ourselves a bull pennant pattern. So there are no guarantees, but is it valid? Is it plausible to think that if the price can come up here and get a break up through that level, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? That is certainly not a guaranteed outcome, but a more than valid and plausible outcome. So keep an eye on that. So if you like bull pennant patterns, you like stocks down below $5, then like I said, keep an eye on it. Next one, R-I-O-T, very, very impressive move over the past few days, but the last 30 minutes here, you can see big solid red candle, which does bring about a more than valid question of, all right, it's looking like a pullback is underway. Now, let me be very clear. A pullback is not the same as a reversal. Can a pullback turn into a reversal? Absolutely, but just because you have one red candle there does not mean that it's a reversal. Like I said, it could just be a pullback. Case in point right here. That right there was a pullback. Pulled back, but you can see ultimately proved to be very, very healthy. So. Uh, you know, if you're somebody that does like to play pullbacks, then this is one, again, based on the last 30 minutes here, which seems possible, could very well start to pull back some more. So the first level from a pullback standpoint that I find pretty interesting right down there around $7.65. If you would look for a, a deeper pullback, then the next key level after that would then be down there right around the 725 mark. Although with that one, you're running the risk of maybe you never get into the trade and it turns around and then you're just sitting there watching the trade leave you in its dust. But of course it could come down there and you could get that much better of an entry point. So, you know, there's always give and take there. But like I said, if you do like to play pullbacks, uh, especially uh, within stocks, which are, you know, showing quite a bit of strength, then I definitely keep an eye on this one for next week. Next one, CRBP, and this is another one of these where we have a self-fulfilling prophecy attribute to it because you got to think that a lot of people have drawn that tread line right there, and then along with that tread line, other people are taking note of this you know, consolidation area down there around the $5.20 mark. So let me again get that change to green to represent support, and then let's just make it all the same color. So I'm not going to spend too much time because you just heard me talk about this pattern, but we had a resistance. We have our support. We have the big move right there. We have our golf hole down here. So we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So as I've said, no guarantees, but is it plausible to think the price comes up there and breaks through it, that that break could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. So if you like bull pennants and if you like stocks a little bit higher than, you know, if you prefer maybe them be above $5 or so, then definitely another one that you should keep on your watch list. Next one, ENZ, and I like this one for a very simple reason. You gotta think, and maybe you already noticed it, but these two levels right here stand out like a sore thumb up there at $4.30 in terms of areas of resistance. Price got rejected there, rejected there. So going along the lines of the self-fulfilling prophecies, it's you know definitely valid to think that if the price comes up here and breaks up through it, that that break in and of itself could create quite a bit of upwards buying pressure. So like I said, keep an eye on 240 in terms of areas of resistance. As far as support levels and pullbacks, interesting level down there at the $2 mark. So keep an eye on those areas. But at least in my opinion, the most interesting dynamic, and I think the dynamic that most people are gonna be watching is all about that 240 mark. So let's see if the price can get up there and push up through. Next one, AMC. And this is, uh, you know, as far as the video that I did yesterday, talking about how that was a nice move. Well, we now have our answer to that nice move. That is what we would call a dead cat bounce because the price has essentially gone right back to where it was. So you, before that big move, the price was down in this area. If I just draw a box, and now you look at once again where the price is, and you can see, well, it's right back inside of that same general area. So dead cap bounce, nice move, and then the price has rolled right back over, which brings about the first key update based on the foundation rule and charting, which states when levels of resist or support are broken and closable, they tend to act as resistance, and that played out perfectly here. You can see that once, twice, 
three times, four times the price. Tried to get back above 430 and couldn't quite do it. So that'll be that initial area of resistance headed into next week. And then as far as supports are concerned, key level where the buyer stepped up uh, over the past couple of days, right up, you know, right around that 405 mark. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, if the price goes down to 405 and pushes through there, then that's putting the, uh, the chart once again at lows that it's not. I don't, I don't know. It may be all time lows. I guess I don't know that for sure. But yeah, the downtrend continues. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online webinar that I'm offering next week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool and how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, certainly get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Next one, NIO, and to go back with the, you know, the talking point of those self-fulfilling, whoops, let me squeeze this down a little bit more to bring it on screen. There we go. To bring it up to that talking point of self-fulfilling prophecies, you got to think that a lot of people have drawn this trend line right here. Let me change that to green because to be fair, it has done a good job of showing where the price has ultimately found some buyers and bounced every time, but it's also the price very, very close to it right now with that final 30 minutes. So no guarantees, but is it valid to think that the price comes on there and breaks down through it, that there's probably gonna be people shorting, people that are buying puts? Yeah, I completely see what those people would be thinking. However, on the flip side, I can also understand the, the people that are saying, well, what are you talking about? It's bounced from there several times. So if the price does go down there, I think it's gonna bounce back up. Again, I completely see where those people are coming from, but that's why risk management matters because somebody's gonna be right, somebody's gonna be wrong, but the core dynamic here is you gotta think that a lot of people will be watching that trend line. So keep an eye on that very, very closely as you know, I think a lot of trade plans will be built around that and you can start to potentially get some of those self-fulfilling type prophecies. Next one, M-A-R-A, -A, and I like this one. Uh, what was that? I think uh, E-N-Z, if I remember right, that has just such a well-defined breakout point. And that's right up here at $8.50. You can see once, twice, three times, price got up that level and couldn't quite push through it. Uh, so very valid to think that the price can consolidate out and give it another go, that any sort of break of that level could very well create that much more buying pressure. So we have that as our area of resistance. And then in terms of levels of support, you have this dynamic right here. So again, let me get that changed to green. So you know what I'm probably gonna be talking about and saying here. So let's make it one color. So we have resist, that was a terrible line. You get a little support, nice move there. Golf hold on there, so another bull pennant pattern. But maybe that for you is, that's overcomplicating it. I would 100% understand. Like I said, I think the most straightforward thing that most people are probably watching is just drawing that line right there at 850 since it sticks out like a sore thumb. So if you like to play breakouts, then you know definitely keep an eye on 850. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of other people watching that level alongside you. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched past videos, but talked have been talking about this 186 mark as a key level of resistance and the power of charts. So I'll turn that into a quick advertisement. Get signed up for that free training. Charts are definitely a worthwhile tool to have. I promise I have not moved that red line. If you don't believe me, I'm not offended. Just go back in the video archive and you can watch the video previously and you'll see I put that red line there. And I mean, look at that, the power of charts. Price came up there, got rejected from it and then pulled back here and has now actually formed a bearish pattern because yeah, we have this little upwards channel here, but with the big downwards move there, this would be known as a bear flag pattern. Now, just because something's bearish does not mean the price is for sure gonna go down. Uh, but you know, I, you know, you'd wanna be very skeptical right now because it's looking like the bears may be getting ready to potentially try to push this down, which is now starting to bring this level here back into play right around the 176 mark. In the very near term, the level to watch from a trend line standpoint is gonna be that area right there. So I'll change that to green to represent a support. But again, this is basically the bottom part of that bear flag pattern. Uh, but it is Tesla, so who knows? Maybe this thing is getting ready to skyrocket back up a new battle with 186. We'll see what happens with it. But as of right now, because of this bear flag pattern, I'm certainly bearish-minded headed into Monday. Next one here, C-O-I-N. And I should have put this one right after R-O-I-T because same idea as what I talked about with R-O-I-T, meaning last 30 minutes, yes, big red candle. And so it does bring about the question of, it's looking like a pullback may very well be underway. So for those people that like to play the pullbacks, Let's figure out where some pullbacks are. So the big difference here is this is just a price of your stock. Maybe ROIT, a little too cheap for you and you like to play you know, higher price stocks or maybe like to get more involved with options. Uh, but same general idea, like I said. Uh, so first key level from a pullback standpoint, right down there around $71.50. And then if you want to get a little bit more aggressive with it, the next level that, um, or I guess conservative, depending on how you want to look at that, maybe you would consider this more of a cons uh, conservative 
um, entry point, but right down there around $66.50. But overall, very powerful move. Both ROIT and coin, you know, serve a lot to do with Bitcoin and Bitcoin has, you know, been doing very well. So these ones have too. But yes, that last 30 minutes suggests that a pullback could be underway. So let's see how the price behaves relative to these areas of support. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe that the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, this one will also rise. Difference being, it just allows you access at a much lower price point, which makes it very, very popular. And overall, everything is perfectly fine. Maybe, now I get it, there's perspective. If you're a day trader, scalper, flipper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within seven minutes, well then, yeah, from that angle, things are looking rough because there was this pullback here. But within the grand scheme of things, it just was a pullback. And you know, there's no better way to illustrate this other than you know looking at this green line, which I put in a play in yesterday's video down around the 24 10 cent mark. And I mean, again, the power of charts. So get signed up for that class. But I mean, pulled back here and you can see once, twice, three times has held strong. So in other words, all that's happened is a good solid pullback. In fact, from a, you know, a pattern perspective, and I'm, I'm just, you know, you, you could probably call this a poor man's bull pennant here right there in all actuality. So yeah, maybe a little disappointed with how it started off the day you know, acting like it wanted to make a big, strong move, and then it kind of petered out. But it's not like it crashed or anything like that. Still has plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. So watch that 24 10 cent mark uh, remaining as that key level of uh, support. And if the price does start to head back up, then from more of the overarching level, that key level up there at 2570, uh, yeah, 2575. So sure, maybe today feels like it was really bad because it started off so strong. However, now that you look at things from the bigger picture point of view, you can see that the price is still in an overall uptrend. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free live training. It'll be next week, Thursday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as your top 10 videos are concerned, please do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment below. Those two things help out the channel a whole lot and I thank you in advance. So get signed up for that class and hit that like button, leave a comment below. Have a great weekend.